better. But everything that we've seen makes it worse. It doesn't make sense. And they say that natural selection has creative power. That nature creating its own nature, it can create itself. That we created ourselves, monkeys created themselves, uh, butterflies created themselves, and pomegranates created themselves. That's what they say. So they've taken the glory of God and His creative ability and they've made it into the image of man. And so it's sort of like if you want to believe in evolution, you believe in, you believe in magic. Because magic says that a frog plus a magic spell equals a prince. And with evolution, they say frog plus time equals a prince. Because with evolution, evolution requires a lot of time for even the whole idea to be feasible. And so that's why they have all of these, they say, you know, the times that are on the earth, you can see it in the layers and so on. Which, by the way, if you want to see layers, they say that these layers were added over, you know, you're driving down the highway and they cut into a hillside in the highway and you see all these layers. The geologists will tell you, see this layer here was uh, uh, it was uh, 85 million years ago. This layer underneath it was 165 million years before that. And they say that all these layers now were laid down over periods of time. If you go to Mount St. Helens in Washington, you will see that because of the giant volcano explosion that happened in, I think it was in May of 1980, it laid down layers and layers and layers and then hardened those layers in just a short amount of time. It's what it did. But they want to tell you that, you know, 560 to 4.6 billion years ago, you have all these Precambrian areas, the Peleos, uh, Paleozoic era, the Mesozoic era, the Cenozoic era, and then all of these life forms evolved over time. It requires billions and billions and billions of years in order for it to work. And it just doesn't... That, if evolution doesn't have that much time then evolution doesn't work. And what I want to help you with is giving you the idea that there is evidence, scientific evidence, that the Bible is right when it teaches us that God created the universe in six days, somewhere around 6,000 years ago. In other words, I'm going to give you some evidence. I'm not going to focus on that in this video, but I'm going to give you a little bit of evidence that says that yes, the earth is that young rather than being that old. So let's look at, there's just a few things here. And then we're going to get into the dinosaurs because I really want to get into the dinosaurs. Number one, cosmic dust. What is that? Um, we know that there's a bunch of dust floating around uh, in outer space. The moon, because it has no atmosphere and has some gravity, collects all this dust. And it doesn't, the moon doesn't have an atmosphere and it doesn't have rain. Therefore, it doesn't have washouts. And so once dust settles on the surface of the moon, nothing is there to disturb it except maybe an asteroid or something like that. And so if the universe or the moon, let's say that, let, I, I'm just guessing, let's say they, the moon was 100 million years old. Let's say the moon is 100 million years ago. Then they know the amount of dust that collects on the, on the moon is a measurable amount. And when NASA sent the first moon mission, Apollo 11, to the moon, if you remember on the bottom of the capsule, they had these cup shapes of the lunar landing module. They had these cup shapes and they had these long telescoping, uh, long telescoping uh, things there. That's because they were kind of afraid that when, the, when the, the lunar module landed on the moon, that it was, could possibly sink into 54 feet of dust. That's how much dust they thought was on the moon. Actually, when they landed on the moon, you've seen the footprints. When they landed on the moon, that, that, would, that would be like a five billion year old moon. When they landed on the moon, they found out a total amount, one to three inches of dust, had accumulated on the moon, which makes it fewer than 8,000 years worth of accumulation. You would think that if the moon had been out there that long collecting that much dust, I mean, you know how much dust collects in your house just over a week. 
And they thought that maybe that there would be like 50 some odd feet, a billion years worth of moon dust. And there was only about 8,000 years maybe of moon dust on the moon. It, it, didn't, it didn't add up. It didn't make sense. Comets. You ever look at comets? I love seeing comets. I remember s- several years ago there was a comet that you could see in the night sky without any glasses. It was neat. And comets are these big, gigantic balls of, of dirt and ice floating around in outer space, rotating around the sun. And that trail that we see coming off of those comets is actually the dust that is leaving, that is coming off of those comets. Now, we know that we have somewhere around 5 million comets orbiting the Earth. And practically all of these comets, by way of all the stuff that's escaping off of them, are no more than 10,000 years old. That's what we know. We have no 1 million year old comets floating around the Earth. Oil pressure in oil wells. And many of the oil wells discovered they could not have been more than 5,000 years old based upon the pressure of, of oil inside these wells. The erosion of planet Earth. At present rate of surface erosion, there should be 30 times more sediment in the ocean than there actually is. At this rate, all the continents on Earth should have been worn down to sea level in just 14 million years. But we know that that's not the case. How about this? The Mississippi River system deposits a measurable amount of silt into the river delta. There's a picture of it there. At this rate, the delta as it stands now can only be about 5,000 years old. 5,000. You know how long ago? You know what happened about 5,000 years ago according to the Bible? The flood. And then once the flood waters went down, the Mississippi River was left depositing its silt into the lower part of New Orleans, Louisiana, and the Mississippi River Delta now has about 5,000 years of sediment built up. That's all that it has. I think the Bible's right. Niagara Falls, the erosion rate of Niagara Falls, which is about 4 to 7 feet a year, indicates an age of less than 8,400 years for the Niagara Falls. Not hundreds of thousands, not millions of years. Stalactites, you know we go in caves. I love to go in caves and see all these stalactites. And in every cave I've ever been in, the tour guides say, see that? You know, we don't want you to touch those now because it takes millions of years for those. I mean, look at the little water dripping down there. It takes millions of years to form those. And if we break them, it'll be another million years before we have another one. Not so fast, because stalactites under the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. have grown to 5 feet in less than 50 years. Here is a picture of one-year-old stalactites from a hydroelectric dam. Only one year old. I think they can form quicker. The oldest living things on the earth testify that the earth is only five to 6,000 years old. The oldest living coral reef, the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, less than 4,200 years old. The bristlecone pine, the world's oldest living things, the oldest one, is around 5,000 years old. What did we say about what did we say about what happened 5,000 years ago? The flood of Noah, and then this tree began to grow. 5,000 years old, not 50,000, not 100,000, not a million years old, 5,000 years old. Let's look at the population rate. At the rate of 2.5 children per family for 25,000 generations, which would be approximately 1 million years, the number of people on earth right now would be a number 10 with 2,100 zeros behind it. That's how many people should be alive on the planet right now. It's just, what, about 6, 7 billion, something like that. Current population, about 6 to 7 billion people. If 1 million years of history produced today's current living population, the total number of humans on the planet would have been 3,000 billion people. And there would be at least two dozen graves for every acre of land. And it's just not that way. We talked about the uh, dust on the surface of the moon earlier. Here's an interesting fact. The, mus- the moon recedes at a rate of two inches per year. We measure it. 